If you're looking for a brand new phone in 2020, you'll stumble upon a bunch of great new phones. The Galaxy S20 series, the iPhone 11 Pro family, the Pixel 4 series, and all of them are awesome phones, but they also cost a lot of money. New Galaxies cost around $1,000, same for iPhones, Pixels are a bit cheaper, but not by much. So that's my main problem with those newer phones, their price. That's why I would argue that there is a phone that is almost as good as those phones and that won't cost you nearly as much. This is the Galaxy S10 and I have been using it for a while now. Priced at just $600, it fits right in that price range that I would call reasonable. So how is it using it in 2020? Hello guys, my name is Vic with Phone Arena and first of all, I love the size of this phone. I bought the iPhone XS Max and used it for a few months, but that phone was just too big to carry in a pocket comfortably. The Galaxy S10 is the perfect size for me. It fits well in a pocket, I can grip it comfortably with just one hand, it, it also has a modern design with tiny bezels and a good sized screen. The S10 is also impressively thin and lightweight too, which I appreciate. And look around the phone and you will also find the 3.5mm headphone jack still here. Most newer Android phones have gotten rid of it, but this one still has it. Now looking at the screen, there is no compromise in quality. It's a 6.1 inch Samsung Super AMOLED panel with beautiful colors. And it has a super high Quad HD resolution, higher than most flagships in 2020. Put shortly, the screen doesn't feel dated in any way. It's still among the very best ones. Now the cameras on the S10 are also surprisingly relevant in 2020. You have a triple camera setup here, a main wide angle camera, an ultra wide angle shooter and a 2 times zoom telephoto camera that you can also use for portraits. No long range zoom, so if you're interested in that particular feature, you have to look elsewhere, but that's about the only compromise. The new S20 series have a 108 megapixel main camera, but that large sensor has some issues like over sharpening in photos and pictures from that phone are a bit way too saturated, while on the Galaxy S10 you don't have those issues. Video is recorded up to 4K resolution and you even have 4K at 60 frames per second and live focus video that blurs the background, a feature that is not present on many other phones. So far so good, but the S10 is of course not a perfect phone and in my opinion there are two things that might make you reconsider buying it. The first one is battery life. It's not great. It's not terrible either, but it's definitely below the average. The S10 comes with a 3400 mAh battery, compared to a bigger 4000 mAh battery on the newer S20. So if you are a heavy user, you might need to plug your phone be before the end of the day if you use the Galaxy S10. With moderate use, you have no issues going through a full day, but not much more. So while the S10 scores way less on our battery tests than the Galaxy S20 at the 60Hz refresh rate, it actually lasts much longer than say the new iPhone SE, especially on our YouTube battery test and on the 3D gaming test. On the upside you do have fast charging at up to 18 watts and you also have wireless charging at up to 15 watts which is double the speed of iPhones and is definitely very convenient. And my second gripe with the S10 is the fingerprint scanner. The S10 comes with a fingerprint reader embedded in the screen but it's a different kind than most flagships. It uses sound or ultrasonic technology to read your fingerprint, while most others use an optical fingerprint. Now the problem is that it's definitely a bit slower than most modern phones. Not a deal breaker, but still a bit annoying. So at the end of the day, let me just say that we all speak about the latest phones all the time, but often don't talk much about a great phone like the Galaxy S10 that is still available and Samsung offers it for a very reasonable price of $600. And if you're looking for a compact phone, it really is one of the very best out there. You also have the smaller Galaxy S10e, but I find that size a bit too small. While the S10 is a great middle ground with an amazing screen, good performance, 128 gigs of onboard storage which is plentiful and a camera that will not disappoint. So there you have it, the Galaxy S10 in 2020. 
one of the best phones you can buy in my personal opinion. But most importantly, the price on this is just great. Let me know if you already use the S10 and how are you liking it. Thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this, subscribe to see more. My name is Vic, this is Phone Arena and I will see you around. <laughs>